Welcome back. And we're here with Glenda McKinley, who has designed and created, working with our team to create the Civil Rights Trail. Welcome. Thank you for being Thank with us. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. You know, it's funny how this started out. I was on a first a tourism trip as Lieutenant Governor, and Alabama, Mississippi got up and talked about this great Civil Rights Trail and all the history. And I leaned over to Doug, our, our tourism a director and said, do we have a civil rights trail? And mm -hmm. he said, I don't think so. And then to come back and, and learn we didn't. But then as we partnered up to find out some of the real history here in Louisiana, um, it actually blows away some of those sites in other states. And yeah. um, your team has done an incredible job uh, on this journey to where we are and much more to do. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, first of all, thank you uh, for taking the leadership role in making this happen. Uh, Louisiana has a very significant role in the modern civil rights movement. And until now, people really just didn't know what we did. We were the first in, in many occasions um, when it relates to civil rights. For example, when you think about the Baton Rouge bus boycott, I mean, that was the bus boycott that inspired the Montgomery boycott. And I think when you take on a project as large as this, you really have to be very careful and intentional about what you're doing. So many of the people who were involved in the civil rights movement are still alive. So we knew that we had a responsibility to travel the state. Uh, we went to 22 locations and thousands of miles just to make sure that we interacted with all of the communities and that we heard from the people who were engaged in the civil rights movement so that they could tell their story. At that time, we really didn't know what the civil rights trail was going to look like. What we really wanted it to do was bubble up from the ground up so that the people who were involved could have their voices heard and that we could accurately represent their involvement in the movement. You know, when I was there and the, the markers, incredible design. You know, I know when they came back to the team and it was like, that's it. It just touched, it, it, it's colorful, it jumps right. out at you. But to see that gentleman with his name on that plaque and tears in his eye right. that he's still alive right. and 17 days out of law school to file suit, um, that just, I still get goosebumps thinking about that. Right. Uh, tell us about some of the other sites. Well, I think, you know, when we first launched, we wanted to make sure that it represented um, all the different aspects of the civil rights movement, the boycotts, the marches, the people, the organization. So the first one was the, uh, the unveiling at Dickie Chase Restaurant. Uh, then <laughs> you remember that Good one. Good food. Oh, the food was delicious. And it was a packed room. I mean, people were really, really excited to see that happen. Uh, then we went to the old state capitol. And and in Little Union Baptist Church. Um, and I think it's really important that we show that this movement happened statewide, that it just didn't happen in one location and one person, that it was a really, really organized uh, effort. And I mean, when you talk to the people around the state, it was really clear when they talked about their stories, it's as if this happened just yesterday. And we made a promise that we would create an authentic trail that represented their true experiences. And, um, and I think that's exactly what we did. I mean, when you go to LouisianaCivilRightsTrail.com, you see the video, you hear the stories, and um, it is really a, a honest representation of the leadership role that Louisiana played in the modern civil rights movement. Well, your team not only did an incredible job of bringing all this together, but also made sure those families mm -hmm. were present at these unveilings. And I can tell you, being there, uh, you get emotional just thinking yes. about it, what it means to those families that right. finally they're being recognized. I know we've got Bogalusa coming up and, yes. and Alexandria, and there's many more. Yes. And, and this is not something that is going to stop when we get the first 15 up. No, it, it's, it's ongoing. And then we encourage people to go to LouisianaCivilRightsTrail.com and to nominate a site. If you know of a site that is not that you don't see and they want to see it, they should just go into the website, nominate a site. We have a group of uh, a committee that's going to vet the information. It has to meet our criteria. And, I mean, the process is very easy. I mean, we are looking to make it as robust as possible. You know, another thing, I want to thank the, the, the students at Grambling and Southern yes. who helped do a lot of the research. And because right. and some of the, the occurrences weren't right in the right time frame. And mm -hmm. so they had a lot of work to do. 
And I tell you, one of those, when that young lady stood up and said, I have a problem with you <laughs> using this uh, to attract tourism, because it does attract millions of visitors to Alabama, Mississippi, and surely that will be something that will benefit the state and all these communities that maybe didn't see tourists before. But it bothered her that we were using this time in history to make money for tourism. And I went home that night and it bothered me. Mm -hmm. And then I remembered our team had come up with Uniquely Louisiana, right. uh, Louisiana homework programs right. through our library system that the teachers download in the school to help students. Right. Um, and we said, that's what we got to do. Right. We got to make this a historical, not only the Civil Rights Trail for tourism and for the history, but an educational. Right. So I know that's well in the works as well to be able to create that. So right. not only people that will get out and see the trail, right. but anybody can download it and learn the history. Yeah, and if you look at the markers, there's a QR code on each marker, and you just scan that. It. It'll take you right to the website so you can learn everything. And when you look at the markers, I mean, they're very heavy. They weigh a lot, and they needed to be substantial. It needed to be as heavy as what was going on at that time. And so they are in a human form, and we wanted people to come face-to-face -face with the people who were on the front lines of, of the movement. And so that is exactly why they took the shape and the and the form that they did. Well, I got to give credit to your son who yes. designed them. I don't know how you got so much talent in your yeah. family, but that marker has gotten more compliments around the state. Who came up with it? So yeah. incredible talent and uh, did a great job. Thank you so much for your hard oh, work. I'm Thank so you for happy being to be here. today, Thank and uh, look forward to seeing you out on the Civil and Rights you know Trail. We will.